You just continue to answer them truthfully. <laughs> Isn't it true that in genuine... Mm. I gotta look that up. What it means, hostile witness. Let's see if we can get a meaning on that. Missouri appellate attorney and a guy who likes to make the law make sense here on YouTube. I'll have more on that in just a moment. Here's what you don't want an attorney to do when they are having a direct examination of a client. So you're a terrorist. Yes. Of the witness. That's why when a lawyer does a direct examination of his client or a witness, he has to be very careful how he asks his questions. In everyday conversation, we often use leading questions. You close the door, right? You saw that movie, right? When you ask a question in that way, it essentially supplies the answer so that all someone has to do is say, yeah, I did. And therein lies the problem, because essentially what you're doing is you're making it look like you are controlling, the, as the ventriloquist, the ventriloquist dummy. And courts don't like that. So oh, okay. on a direct examination, we have to ask things like, where were you on the morning of January 4th? Well, I was sitting in my truck at the gas station. Must be what did you notice, if anything, at around 9 o'clock that morning? Well, I saw this car come flying through and run the red light and hit another car. You see how those questions are open-ended? The lawyer on the other side jumps up and says, Objection, Your Honor. Okay. Dr. So-and-so, we've got your testify about things that maybe are not relying on as the medical record. to attack their direct testimony by right, come on now. in the hospital on the floor. That's right. But you don't remember if you were working on January 4th? No, I don't have any idea. Well, if I show you your time card, would that refresh your memory? Probably not. I mean, a lot of times those time cards are all wrong. Well, by now, the lawyer is getting the impression that maybe this witness is not the witness that he thought. Maybe something has happened to her. Maybe she's been intimidated. And yes, that kind of thing happens. I once had a witness in a nursing home case Okay. And for example, in this case, you've probably got charting that day. I have a feeling that she's been intimidated. In fact, it means exactly the opposite. It means you need to treat her with kid gloves. Oh, you have to convince the judge that she's hostile. So you tell the truth as you know it, and you show what you have that shows that she's not telling the truth. And that will often convince the judge to let you treat her as a hostile witness. Now, that doesn't mean you get to call her names or treat her badly. 